me through your dad. He literally almost beat me in badminton, right? He was that fit, so it didn't make any sense. So, severe narrowings, and I'm just, okay, what was it? Was he really stressed? You know, stress, by the way, severe psychological stress can, can, can cause these sorts of issues with the heart, but again, didn't, didn't, didn't buy it. And then October, November 2021, I get alerted from a cardiologist friend of mine who, who's one of the smartest cardiologists in the country, I think, and he's a brilliant mind. And he sends me an abstract from uh, Circulation, a cardiology journal, done by Stephen Gundry, who's a cardiothoracic surgeon, I think, based in New York. And I read this abstract, and I'm like, wow. And what he found was in, he'd been following up several hundred people in their 50s with um, a test that he does called a pulse score, which correlates the blood test, and it measures markers of inflammation in the blood, Joe, which have been validated and correlated with heart disease risk and heart attack risk. And what he found was that within eight to 10 weeks of these patients taking the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine, mRNA vaccines, those markers of inflammation in the blood had increased to a level where their risk of a heart attack went from 11% at five years, just within two months, to 25%, which is a huge jump. Like, to give it context, if I today decided I was going to smoke 40 cigarettes a day, eat junk food, you know, hammer it all night, not sleep, um, stop exercising, I couldn't even get a close to increasing my risk that much in two months. Now, it's one bit of data. And of course, in medicine, which, I, which we've talked about is not an exact science, you never rely just on one bit of data. You look at other bits of data as well. And, and what kind of picture does all the information start painting? So at that point, I was like, okay, now I can understand there's something now that fits with what happened to my dad. But if this is real, this is going to be a problem because I know you're essentially, for populations of people who may not know they've got a little bit of mild furring that isn't going to cause them a problem for 20 years, suddenly you're going to get an increase in heart attacks much more quickly. Then what happened was I got contacted. It all happened within a few weeks. Uh, a journalist, I think it was from the Telegraph or the Times, I can't remember, asked me to Times asked me to comment on the fact there'd been an unexplained increase, about 25% increase in heart attacks in Scotland in hospitals that people can't explain. So they said, Dr. Mahotra, what do you think is going on? Um, and then the third thing that happened was I was um, a whistleblower from a prestigious university in the UK contacted me, cardiologist, and he said to me, uh, he was very upset, he said, it seems something I've got to tell you. I don't know what to do, but I, I need to tell you this. I said, what is it? He says, Our, this research group had accidentally found, with the use of coronary imaging techniques, so this is specialized high-tech scans of the arteries of the heart, that in the vaccinated, there was m increased inflammation of the arteries of the heart, and it wasn't there in the unvaccinated, which again would increase heart attack risk. But they had a clo closed meeting and they said, we're not going to publish these findings or talk about it further because it may affect our funding from the drug industry. <laughs> and I, at this stage, Joe, I was like, okay, now I've got three bits of data. There's enough here for him to at least ask the question. So I got in G one of the more semi-mainstream news channels in the UK is called GB News. And uh, I went to them. I said, listen, something I want to talk about. I said, you know, I'd done stuff with them before. Uh, and basically, and they said, come on, let's talk about it. So I talked about this in GB News and it went viral, you know. And I didn't say stop the vaccine or whatever. I said, listen, there's a signal here that needs to be looked into. We've got these unexplained heart attacks happening. We've got this evidence from circulation. I've been told by this whistleblower. <laughs> let's look at this a bit further. 